What is he doing? What are you doing, Goku? What are you doing? Through his fight with Majin Buu, Goku was revived. He now spends his days training so he can get even stronger. However, he is soon to encounter a new and even more powerful enemy. While Goku is training, the God of Destruction, Lord Beerus, shows up to Bulma's birthday party, apparently in search of a Super Saiyan God. No one stands a chance against Beerus, who has the power to destroy everything. With the help of his family and friends, Goku wakes the Super Saiyan God and takes Earth's fate in his hands as he steps up to the plate against Beerus. Let's go, Lord Beerus, you and me! But if I win, you have to leave this planet untouched. Deal? Very well, I accept your terms. But know this, none in this universe can hope to match the power of Beerus the Destroyer. Damn. He might not have been lying. I'm not done yet! Goku, he might have been telling the truth. Goku. Goku, I don't think he was capping. Goku, you're getting baby. Goku's been beaten down, but he's not out yet. Always going tight to his will to fight. He rises to face Beerus once more. Did the Super Saiyan God thing work? I don't know. It sure seemed like it did, but I can't sense my dad's energy at all. Believe it or not, that's good news. The energy that radiates from a God cannot be detected by mere mortals. You're a slut, you whore! Oh my goodness. I'm just getting fucked up. Here I am. He's fucking me. He has super armor. That's why I'm not doing shit. He has super armor. Finally, this is what I've been waiting for. Shut up, nigga. What do you say we continue this fight on equal footing? God to God. Sounds good to me. I'm only scratching the surface of this new power. And here we go! Uh, eat it! Take that! Take it! Take it like a good boy! But what about you, Beerus? I can tell you're holding something back. Figured that out, did you? <laughs> well, I had a feeling. But you don't have to hold yourself back for my sake, Lord Beerus. You're not gonna Damn. get any stronger unless you face me with Damn. everything you've got. You see the difference between us? Damn! Are you always this talkative? You just don't get it. Although Goku did not come on, on out, come out on top, his impressive attempt left an impression. Beerus and his companion leave without destroying the Earth. A short while later, Vegeta and Goku train with Whis, Beerus' attendant who was also a teacher. Both awaken to their Super Saiyan blue form and its incredible power. However, back on Earth, Frieza has been resurrected by the Dragon Balls and brings an army to Earth to take revenge on Goku. Gohan tries to stop Frieza, but he is no match for Frieza's new and improved strength. By the time Bulma's SOS reaches Goku and Vegeta, Piccolo is already dead, and things aren't looking much better for Gohan. However, Earth is far too distant from the planet where his father is for Gohan to sense any key, meaning he cannot travel via instant transmission. But it just as all seems lost. Gohan summons the last of his strength to enhance his ki, and Goku is finally able to sense him. Using instant transmission, he goes to face Frieza once again. 
and fucking dies. Vegeta, sorry, but I've got to run. Ugh, fine. Do whatever you want, as usual. It occurs to me, I suppose I should thank you. Thank me? What in the world for? For years, my every step, my every breath has been motivated by a single desire. Revenge. My new power, strength enough to hold the universe by its throat. It was you who gave it to me. Well, welcome. Losing to you, to a pathetic Saiyan. It consumed me. The humiliation was too much to bear. Enough! Get to the point! Yeah. <laughs> Impatient as ever. Very well. As a token of my gratitude, I will destroy you first. Would you mind piping down? Come on! Yeah! Blue nigga! All right, now it's your turn. Let's see this new power of yours. Care to cut to the chase, do we? Very well, then I won't hold anything back either. A hard ass punch. Now brace yourself. Oh, oh shit. Newfound evolution. I know gold's a bit gauche, but I wanted to ensure you grasp my. I guess you've earned it this time. <laughs> Damn! I'm not done yet. I'm gonna bite your damn tail. Damn! All this fucking teleporting. Stop with the damn red ass key blast! It's my turn. Damn it! I could fucking. He was scrapping. He was scrapping. Damn. Goku switches with Vegeta, but Frieza seizes the opening and destroys Earth completely. Whis saves Goku and his friends, but the rest of Earth is annihilated. Yet Whis' power to turn back time, they are able to go back and defeat Frieza. However, immediately after powering up, Goku and Vegeta find themselves facing a strong enemy once more. This is only the beginning. Who do they face after this? The, after this is um Future Tron. Yeah, the Black Arc. I will Vegeta defeated. Beerus' ten brother Chompa appears, and they get caught up in an argument between the two brothers. Then they learn that there are a total of twelve universes, with theirs called Universe Seven. Moreover. There also appears to exist Super Dragon Balls in Universe 6, Champa's home, as well as Universe 7. These Super Balls can be used to summon Super Shenron, who possess the ability to grant any wish, completely free of all restrictions. It is these Dragon Balls that are put up as a prize for a new tournament that will be held, the Tournament of Destroyers. At the end of many ferociously fought matches, Goku and the others emerge victorious. After being noticed by a powerful being, it is decided that Goku and his friends shall meet with the ruler of all universes, Zeno. And it is this meeting which changes everything. Shortly after this, Trunks arrives in a time machine from the future, asking Goku and the others for their help. Sorry I swung at you without any warning, Goku. For a second there, I thought you were someone else. Nah, you were just rattled. Don't thought you were black. Him. So tell us, who is this guy? Thought Did you, you were a nick. I said he called himself Goku. What? Me? He wears dark clothes instead of your orange ones, so he started calling him Goku Black. I'll never forget the day he showed up. He said he was going to exterminate the human race. He said he was doing it in the name of justice. I struggled against him for a year after that, but by that point there were hardly any survivors left on Earth. Then, he tracked down Mom just before I came here. Wait a sec. My future self also wrote a message specifically for me. 
She wanted us to fix the machine and return with you. That means she wants me to go there and beat Kakarot myself. Come on, Vegeta, it's not me. It must be someone who just looks like me. It's Turles. Hey, Trunks, help me gauge how strong this guy is. Fight me for a while so you can compare my strength to his. Sure. I'm finna fuck Trunks up. My Sundere goat over there. In order to understand the strength of this doppelganger imposter, Goku fights with Trunks to see how powerful he really is. The two of them out go elsewhere to begin their sparring. However, an unexpected visitor soon joins them. <laughs> Jumping to Super Saiyan 2 right off the bat, huh? Sounds good to me. I figured this out after you left. I call it Super Saiyan 3. Nigga. That's incredible. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. In that case, I'll show you my strongest move. All right, attack me with everything you've got. Goku Black! A real nigga has arrived! My fault. I didn't mean to skip dialogue. And the destroyer Beerus. Wow, you really do look alike, huh? Damn. Are you? Bitch. Woo! I sure could learn something from you. Bah! The way you fight. It's time to win. Dumbass. No way he just sat there and tanked that. Why did he why didn't he move? Why didn't he move? Excellent Goku. You can hurt me as much as you want. The pain will only make me right, is, is he into that? Okay, that's a pretty creepy thing to say. I think he's into that. Kill this nigga! Kill Goku nigga! Uh, that pull. The distortion in space time must be dissipating. It's going back to normal. Bro said, I'm gonna just follow Trunks to another universe and kill him there. I'm not wasting my damn time. The distortion in space-time from which Goku Black emerged swallows him up, and he returns to the world of the future. Whis, Beerus' attendant, notices that Goku Black was wearing the Supreme Kai's time ring. He also informs Goku that there exists an individual in Universe 10 with the same key as Black, so they travel together to find that individual. Upon arriving, they find a combat servant named Zamasu, who is slated to become a Supreme Kai. He does indeed have the same key as Goku Black. However, it is Zamasu's first time meeting Goku, and he is completely unaware of the time rings that can surpass the limitations of time and space. Uh, it would be your utmost pleasure to please engage in fisticuffs with me, your kindness, sir. Yeah! Goku invites Zamasu to fight so he can witness his true power. Let's give it a go. You know, I haven't fought a god since Lord Beerus. You fought a destroyer? Bitch. I'm coming! Oh, he teleported. I was about to say, how the hell did he get away from that? Dumbass. I won? I killed her? Let's go. <laughs> you know, for just a plain old Kai, 
You're pretty strong. That's fucked up, Goku. Why would you say that? That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Between the antisocial psyche that's clearly lurking within him and the energy that he's projected outward, I'd say our suspicions that Zamasu is black have been circumstantially corroborated. He's black, yeah. Then maybe I should just dispense with him now while I can. Hmm? Huh? You guys sure about this? You know, he really didn't seem like such a bad guy to me. I'm not gonna listen to you. You're too trusting of people. The energy I felt was similar, but it wasn't exactly the same as Black's. It seems there are more mysteries to solve. Oh, Goku, oh, 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 be careful, Goku. One more thing, Whis. If Grand Zeno does lash out, make sure it's not its Supreme Kai. I need him protected at all costs. Goku is surprised to hear the concern in Beerus's voice. But he nevertheless joins together with Whis, Beerus, and the Supreme Kai. We soon divulges that to Goku that if a Supreme Kai dies, the destroyer of that universe will die too. Beerus is clearly flustered by Whis's words, but there's no time to comfort him. Goku and Whis use the Supreme Kai's ability to set off for the palace. They are greeted by the Grand Minister, who takes them to Zeno. As they walk, Whis mentions that he would not even hold a candle to the Grand Minister. What's up? I mean, good day and greetings. So what's going on with you? What do you want? I'm not asking much. I just want a friend, you see. You're not like most people. You're fun. I want you to be my friend, Ogie Dogi. We Fuck no! That, I guess, but is that the only reason you called? Is that a problem? Of course not, Grand Zeno. Goku would feel privileged to be your friend and provide you unsurpassed joy. You be quiet. <laughs> so shut your ass up. Ain't nobody talking to you. Purple bitch. I'm sorry, Zeno, but actually now's a bad time. There's something I've got to take care of, but when it's done, we can play, I swear. So once you're done with your busy thing, you'll play with me? Sure, and if you want, I can bring somebody else who'd be even more fun to play with too. So the next time, you won't have to wait on me. Really? Okay, it's a date. No the fuck it isn't. I only like bad bitches. Bye bye, Goku. As proof of Goku and Zeno's blossoming friendship, Zeno gives Goku a button that can summon him simply by pressing it. The three visitors then board the time machine and head for the world of the future. Go on, Goku. Rejoice! Only through me will you finally reach the pinnacle of beauty you have sought for so very long. You know, I don't know what you're rambling on about. Damn. Influenced by Goku, Goku Black evolves into Super Saiyan Rose and stands in their way. Father! Damn! Fuck! I accidentally skipped the dialogue. Oh shit, already into it. Your mind is too small. Your kind is incapable of understanding the grandeur of my success and the glory of my cause. It's like staring into the sun. Can I see? The vast beauty of my being overwhelms you. For I read apart and divide. What? It was like this, right? Foolish. Dumbass. Damn, I'm the dumbass. Insufficient. No hard feelings. He thinks this is course party. Talking about some no hard feelings. Foolish. 
Sit your bitch ass down. Fuck. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. Woo! Oh! Nigga, that's some hard feelings. He hit me with that shit, I'd cry. Bro, fuck off! You a hating ass nigga, bro. You won't even let me fucking. Ah! No! <coughs> no! My limitless wrath makes me the strongest being in the. No! What is this? Oh shit, he's dead. This nigga's dead. He's dead. He's dead. That's enough. Oh shit. Samasu. I thought you were decent, but you're scheming with black. Scheming, such a negative word. We are more like comrades on a righteous crusade. I'm not done yet. No hard feelings. Damn. Goku Black fucked me up. This is gonna be something right here. Hold on. It's like staring into Damn. the sun. Yeah. The Fuck. of my being overwhelms you. I breed apart and divide. You slut! You fucking slut! No hard feelings. Bow your head. <laughs> Lower difficulty, I'll fuck you up. Your mind is too small. Your mind is incapable of understanding the grandeur of my success and the glory of my fall. Damn! It's like staring into the sun. You cannot see it. The vast beauty of my being overwhelms you. For I am a breed of art and divine. How do I do the fucking... How are they just teleporting at will? I don't understand. Fucking bitch! You bitch! Keep fucking playing with me, nigga! Woo! I'ma fuck this nigga up on everything. I'ma fuck this nigga up. This shit ain't gonna go how he want. I'm finna figure out how to do this shit on everything. I'm finna figure out how to do this shit. How is he doing that bullshit? That dumbass teleportation shit. How the fuck is he doing that shit? I'm finna figure it out. When I figure it out, he's fucking through. Let me see what this is. Let me see what this is. Hell no, that ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. That is not it. How the fuck am I supposed to be doing that shit? How the fuck is he doing that shit? Don't let me figure it out. Don't let me figure out how to do that shit. Because he's fucking dead. Hold on. I oh, don't damn know. What does it matter? <laughs> bitch ass nigga, get Sonic Sway. Weave gang nigga. I don't need Ultra Instinct to weave your bitch ass.
And it's just fucking teleporting! It's just fucking teleporting, nigga! How the fuck? How the fuck? How the fuck am I supposed to stop that shit? What the fuck do I do? Your mind is too small. Oh, fuck you, bitch! Fuck you, bitch! It's like staring into the sun. Can't see it. The vast beauty of my being overwhelms you. For I am a breed of art and divine. Foolish. Bitch ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga, keep fucking playing with me, nigga. Keep fucking playing with me, nigga. Keep fucking playing with me, nigga. See what the fuck happened, you bitch ass nigga. What the fuck? Who the fuck this nigga think he is? The fuck, nigga? What you thought, nigga? What you get your black ass on somewhere? Get your Goku black ass on somewhere, nigga. Get your black ass on somewhere. We we don't we don't fuck with your people know. around this these parts, huh? Imposter, faker. We don't fuck with you around here, nigga. Scheming. Nigga, we that's a damn sundown town, cause we got this black nigga on somewhere. A righteous crusade. That's fucked up. I'm sorry. That 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 was wrong. You will fall. I swear, if I get killed by fucking Zamasu, I might actually blow my brains out. <laughs> Dumbass! Dumbass! Come on! Come on, hit that shit! Hit that bit! Hit that bit! Yeah! And then I'ma run away. Get your ass out of there. Get your ass out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Don't let him see you. 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 We we playing cheap. How the fuck? see me did I did he not lose sight of me for a pure and beautiful world no hard feelings I'm about to miss that shit aren't I fucking hell what is he doing he's charging What is he doing? An extra hand. Yes. Nigga, move. <laughs> Dumbass. 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 Damn, I could have get fucking like Vegeta or somebody. My like Trunks couldn't come and help for a second. Soon the world I've been dreaming of for so long will be made manifest. A truly just and perfect utopian existence. Mortals are unnecessary. And more than that, unwell. Dumbass! 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 Hit that shit! Hit that shit! Hit that shit! If you miss, I'ma blow my fucking brains out! Whoa! Pussy! Disappointing you ungrateful and barbaric creatures are. The gods gave you minds capable of true wisdom. Man, don't nobody want to hear your lame ass speech. You just got your ass penetrated, nigga, by a real Saiyan, nigga. Y'all fake Saiyans and shit done got your shit penetrated, nigga. The fuck out of here, nigga. We fuck niggas like you up. Now I can sit back down. Ooh, I got. Get that off my chest. You talk about the values of mortals after everything you've done to my world. Final flash. That ain't doing shit. You think you got him? What? It can't be. I've taken godhood to a new level. Divinity made perfect. With a body that befits a Kai, one that is invincible. I can already tell I'm going to be sleeping soundly tonight. 
This is your end. No. Say it. Who's there? Who the hell is that? Vegeta? Vegeta uses the last of his strength to rescue Goku and the others who are unable who are who are able to return to their own world. The Supreme Kai comes to Goku and the others with the message that Zamasu is looking for Goku as well as the Super Dragon Balls. Upon hearing that, we speculate that the Zamasu from the future will create Goku Black with the Super Dragon Balls and make himself immortal. It will be a year until the Super Dragon Balls can be used again. Could Zamasu in the Supreme Kai's time ring solve such a problem? Zamasu is only an apprentice and does not possess a time ring. However, he may steal one from the Supreme Kai of Universe 10. If that is his plan, then the life of the Supreme Kai is at risk. Beerus and the others immediately head to Universe 10. When they arrive, they find Zamasu just as he is about to murder the Supreme Kai. Using his power of Hakai, Beerus wipes Zamasu from existence. It seems we've returned to a future where there is no black. Beerus informs them that a god killing another god will inevitably result in a change in the space-time continuum. Trusting his words, they reveal to the future. They travel to the future to see what difference they have made. My world didn't change. Damn. I knew it. <clears throat> Beerus couldn't fix this. Not even the act of a god made a difference. And now they face Zamasu and Goku Black once more. We know the truth. All the terrible things you've done. We know you used the Super Dragon Balls to get your power. You think I'm a copy? Oh, you're wrong. This is Goku's actual body, down to the last battle scar. The perfect war machine. I took the time ring and found the Super Dragon Balls. Then, with my first wish to the dragon, I switched bodies with you, Goku. Okay, so if you're telling us you're Zamasu, then who's this guy who actually looks like him? From your world's perspective, I'm the Zamasu from this world. And I work for justice with the Zamasu from the past. You haven't worked it out yet, Goku? I'm none other than the Kai once called Zamasu. The god defeated by a mere mortal. You. But how can that be? I saw Beerus destroy you. He said you'd be gone. Old Beerus clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Wearing it protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. Thanks to the Time Ring, I could empower my new ally without waiting at all. We collected the Super Dragon Balls in the future and wished again. You are willing to kill your Supreme Kai just to get that ring? Duh! Duh! I don't have anything to say. Yes. Then we had to make sure no one would undo our accomplishments later. So we found the Super Dragon Balls once more and shattered them. After that, we had to keep the other gods from interfering here. I used your strength to kill every other Kai in this multiverse. That means in this timeline, there are no more gods who can stop us. We have all the power. The two of us alone! This destruction was unfortunate, but necessary to achieve our virtuous goal. The Zero Mortal Plan. Mortals are a foolish and ugly mistake that stain the majesty of the cosmos. By eliminating all mortal creatures, we can reclaim this perfect creation. Um, I'm sorry. Your filthy kind is worst of all. How many times have conflicts nearly destroyed this planet and threatened to spread across the universe? Because you are the ugliest, we are sentencing you to the heaviest punishment. A despair and terror that befits your wicked crimes. 
and none of you will escape it. Damn. This is it, Saiyans. For the sake of our most glorious project, you will die today. Fucking bitch! Fuck you, nigga! Like, where does one begin such a gripping tale? After I collected the Super Dragon Balls and switched bodies with you, I went to Earth to check to make sure we had really switched. And there I found you. You were shocked to find yourself in my body, and your family was terrified. Damn you! What about Can I not change? And go, Ted! Oh, sure, you can guess that, Goku. It's a monster! Can I not fucking... Why even put the dent... I'm about sick of this shit! Just sheer fucking stupidity, nigga! I can change! Why aren't they letting me do it? No, no. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Concerned about your family. My family? Where does one begin such a gripping tale? After I collected the Super Dragon Balls and switched bodies with you, I went to Earth to check to make sure we had really switched. And there I found you. You were shocked to find yourself in my body, and your family was terrified. Damn you! What about Chi-Chi and Goten? Oh, surely you can guess that much, Goku. I can't what fucking switch. Now I'm mad. Now, thank you, Goku. Your anger feels simply incredible. Now you face my blade. What the fuck happened? Whatever. They wouldn't even fucking let me switch, bro. I couldn't fuck. I couldn't have won that shit if I wanted to. They wouldn't let me fucking switch. Like y'all saw how I'm pressing this shit, right? Not letting me fucking switch. Fuck them up, Trunks. Goku and the others were no match for Goku Black and Zamasu. 
and are nursing serious injuries. Thanks to Trunks' help buying them time, they were turning the time machines. Just how are these two defeated? Goku and his friends are backed into a corner, but Piccolo has the idea that Master Roshi may be able to help. After learning of the evil containment wave, Goku receives a jar from Master Roshi and goes straight to where Trunks and the others are. Immediately he runs into Goku Black and Zamasu, who destroy the time machine right before his very eyes. There will be no more retreating. Damn. Now you're trapped here. So this world will be the last you ever see. For a god, you're surprisingly confused. This isn't going to be our final resting place. It's going to be yours. We were even going to bring you a casket, but we couldn't find one small enough. Midget! You small ass bitch! Our master Goasu and the other Kais were foolish enough to believe mortals could be entrusted with intellect. So, Kakarot, where are you keeping that jar? Oh crap! It was still in the time machine when they blew it up! <sighs> How could you be that stupid? Fine, what's done is done. I'd rather win with our fist than some magic trick anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Nigga. Nigga, I don't know. Can we use that magic trick? Better keep your focus on me. Mortals do not tell gods what to do. Shut the fuck up! Here I am. I don't know why I can never get a second teleport off. Here we go. Break through the limit. I don't know. He ain't doing shit. Just throw the bitch out there. See what happens. He ain't doing shit. Why he's just running away? Just as we foresaw, fighting this form It's not fucking Saiyan working. Carried us both to new it's not fucking working. This proves our transformative power. Our destiny is to cast judgment upon all creation. Mike, if you hold it. <laughs> What's the matter, mortals? Relax. Don't be afraid. I thought you Saiyans love fighting the strongest. Shut up, nigga. Can I switch out now? Like, actually, this is gonna piss me the hell off. You okay? Thank you. He's weak. Trunks must have done something. How did you disgrace yourself against those mortals? We were barely seen. You pathetic, lowly mortal. Shut up! This game is over. What are they doing? They're fusing? Oh shit. Ah oh, shit. Justice together! They're touching tips! They're touching Oh shit. Your Give praise unto me. Fuck out of here. Damn! The sublime. Me, the invincible. The almighty divine. All hail. Trump, keep Bulma safe. Right. No, no. Here I am. Shit. Now witness the wrath of the god. That my brilliance is just. I, God, Sonos, and the universal wisdom, the universal Fuck. law, and yes, the universal power. I might be dead. It's over. Oh, was I supposed to die? May my strength be a shield for this world. And for all of us mortals, I'm putting all of our hope into this one blast. That ain't doing shit. Gun! Come on, Trunks. Give it all you've got. Right. I've had 
enough of you impudent mortals. Away with you! Damn. Samasu? Get ready, because I'm knocking your lights out for good! Shall smite the heart of the wicked. Face my divine wrath! Continue to defy our god! With the Gallic gun and Goku's Kamehameha, Vegeta's and the others think they won. But then the few Zamasu's body starts to change. Half of this combined Zamasu came from black. <clears throat> it seems the part of his body that's vulnerable to attacks is affecting the part that isn't. They will need an even greater power to destroy Zamasu. Now. Goku tells Vegeta his idea. I'm not touching tips with you again, okay, Kakarot! It's time! We're gonna fuse. Just like them! Don't, you can't be serious, clown! There's no way I'm going to do that again! I don't like this any more than you do, Vegeta. But if we still need a major boost in power to break down his body, then this is the best chance we've got! Come on! You gotta admit, I'm right about this. Good luck, you two. Thank you. It's now or never, Vegeta. There's something I've always wondered. When we fused last time, the Kai said it was permanent. But we split apart anyway. Do you know why? The truth is, it's only permanent if a Supreme Kai is involved. Otherwise, it only lasts an hour. So just a one-hour battle, then we're back to ourselves. Cut it out! If you say one more word, then the answer's no! Damn it all! One hour, but that's it! Vegeta, I need your help. Just one more time! So oh, I swore I'd never merge bodies with you again! Alright! Who are you? You two doubled up, so we did the same. You know, you dirty shit. We're a merge fight. A combination of Vegeta and Kakarot. Vegeta! And here's something new. Vegeta Blue! Get ready. Whoa! Hold on! Yeah! You're still not a god! Okay, what do you say we wrap this up? Oh, I'm sorry, is this hurting you? You aren't a purely invincible god anymore. And you can never get the number of mortals down to zero now. You see, now that you've merged, you've taken in something that's always going to be a part of you for as long as you live. Oh, damn. He's mortal and destructible body. Damn. That Goku's body will always be part of me. Of course you will. Nigga, are you in love with me or something? Damn! Whoa! I didn't even realize he was that close to getting beat, bro. I was just scrapping. It hasn't been an hour yet. Damn, that fight was something. Splitting apart. Things are looking pretty dire for Goku and Vegeta. However, all is not lost. Soon, Trunks comes to their rescue. It's not about gods and mortals. You don't believe in anything but yourself. And we won't let you win! I can feel it. Keep it coming, guys. Share your power with me. <laughs> Gathering the key of all the surviving mortals and pouring it into his sword, Trunks uses his blade to the fell Zamasu. To fell Zamasu. However, just as everyone thinks Zamasu is gone once and for all, he enshrouds the earth in his incorporable form. All of humanity is lost apart from our heroes. 
Is there really a way to stop the scourge of Zamasu? The situation is desperate, but Goku has an idea. Supreme Kai, tell me. Do you think the Zeno of this timeline is still around? Yes, there's no question. Of course he would be. No one can defeat Grand Zeno. It's impossible. Hearing those words, Goku pulls out the button given to him by Grand Zeno that will summon him no matter where he is and presses it. With this, Grand Zeno appears in Trunks' world and Goku proposes that Zeno erase Zamasu from existence. All of existence? However, Zeno was less than impressed by the depressing world he has been summoned to and opts to destroy the entire planet instead. Goku and the others dash to the time machine and make a narrow escape. Trunks and his friends have lost their home, but they learn from Whis that they may be able to return to the same world before it was erased. With Whis's help, they seal away the Zamasu of that world, bidding farewell to Goku and the others. Trunks sets off in a next adventure in his new world. Heck yeah! Oh my fucking goodness. What a headache that bullshit was.